Hello everyone, this is Taria from Hidden Truth Tarot, and this is going to be for the sun, moon, and rising sign of Pisces. Pisces, this is your weekly general reading for October the 28th through the 3rd of November 2019. Now I'm using the Energy Oracle along with the Witch Tarot, and at the end of your reading, Pisces, I will be pulling an Angels of the Light Oracle for you as well. Beautiful. So we have First Chakra Archangel Michael. Beautiful energy right there. All right. Thank you, spirits. Yes. All right, spirit. What does Pisces, Sun, Moon, and Rising need to know this week? October the 28th through the 3rd of November 2019. Thank you, spirit. Thank you, Spirit. Yes, Pisces, Sun, Moon, and Rising. What does Pisces need to know this week, Spirit? Thank you so much. Thank you. We are ready, yes. All right, Pisces. Situation of the week, we have the Ace of Wands. <coughs> Excuse me, Pisces. Crossing you, beautiful, the Empress. In your foundation is the tower. Now, this has already happened, okay? This is you rebuilding a situation or area in your life right here. Recent past energies, we have the Six of Pentacles. Crowning you is karma. Beautiful. Oh, I love it. Your new circumstance is the full. All right. From the bottom of the deck. The overall energy is the Knight of Swords. Love it. All right, Pisces. An amazing energy here that I'm feeling right now. Let's start here. Let's start with first chakra, Archangel Michael. Uh, this is your root chakra, okay? This is the chakra that, you know, holds that energy of what makes you feel stable in your life stability and security okay uh, a strong and firm foundation right here now for those of you that maybe feel uh like that chakra might be blocked uh you can call upon archangel michael and he will help unblock that for you you know this is you feeling secure okay feeling uh secure within yourself and your own skin as well and it's a very powerful energy that I'm getting here. And I'm, I'm getting it in a positive light. I feel for many of you at this time, this is flowing freely. So with this chakra flowing freely, this allows you to really take action on what you're wanting to do within your situation. You know, and I'm getting a sense here that many of you, since you have the tower in your foundation, you are rebuilding a, a foundation that's going to be unshakable. And you feel secure in yourself. Uh, you you have that uh, that energy of feeling like everything is going to work out, and you have that self confidence that you need that fire, that passion. You know, you see that red right there, and that's that passion and desire, and you taking control and action over your situation and feeling good about it. Now, your overall energy is the Knight of Swords coming up here. Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. And I love this. This is you being self-assured, standing in your truth, and taking action. Uh, this is you using power with intent. This is you cutting out anything or anyone that is hindering you, holding you back, that's not serving your best purpose or interest. Uh, this is you really speaking... Uh, your truth, what you're working towards, and very powerful energy here. Now, we do have the Ace of Wands coming up here as the situation of the, the week here. And this is, you know, like I said, this so reminds me of this first chakra right here. This is you, you know, having that self-confidence and that passion, that desire, and starting a new adventure, a new beginning. This could have to do with a creative vision, an idea that you have, and you're going after it. You're making a move here. This could be a, a new career, a job. 
uh, this could be relocating for a job or a career, starting a project that's going to be very fulfilling. This could be you starting a, a new hobby, something that you have a lot of uh, passion about. But nonetheless, it's a very powerful energy and it's beautiful. And I just cannot stop saying powerful because that's that energy I'm feeling right now. You guys are really uh, stepping into something here that is very bold. Um, and I love it. It's very exciting. <laughs> now, for some of you, you may be starting a new business from home as well. Now, with the Empress coming up here in your crossing position, this is amazing. This talks about, you know, you planting seeds, nurturing those seeds, and what you've put into it is going to be coming back very quickly. And it's so positive. This is the number three. Numbers, number threes represent growth and expansion uh, with what you've put in. And oftentimes, you know, the Empress, this is like a harvest type energy. You're going to see something coming back that could be bringing a lot of abundance and prosperity into your life and into your situation. This talks about you being very grounded and having a lot of creativity with what you're you're nurturing, what you've, you're working towards here. Uh, she represents new life, just anything in, ge in general that you are uh, bringing to life. Now you have the tower in your foundation. I love it. This is what's moving you forward. This is what's driving you this week. Okay, you have recently let something go that wasn't serving your best purpose or interest. Could have been a situation, could have been a job, could have been a, a relationship, okay? And you, you've let it fall, okay? Um, this talks about breaking down bad habits, purging your feelings, and what comes from this is a breakthrough, okay? A literal breakthrough. And it allows to, for you to start rebuilding and laying a solid foundation with what you've let fall that's going to be unshakable, okay, in the present and in the future. Now you have the Six of Pentacles in your recent past energy. You know, this talks about you having a generous spirit. Uh, you love helping others. You, you know, you give. Uh, there is, um, you know, a need here to make sure that all give and take relationships are balanced. Now, for some of you, you may have been dealing with a legal situation, an inheritance, uh, maybe something that has to do with a lawsuit, anything that has to do with money. Uh, I feel like you may may have recently had to do deal with maybe a contract or making agreements and compromises, but nonetheless, it's helped you move forward. Now, make sure that your, your relationships are in check and are balanced because this leaves you open to receive even more uh, gifts and blessings from spirit as well now this is amazing okay you have karma in your crowning position this is what you know this is what you're thinking about Pisces uh, this is you having a second chance right of passage here um, you know uh, it's an amazing energy and it's also a major energy as well and it's mirroring you know the tower here so you have made some amazing progress and you know it this talks about you going through a major transformation and transitioning into a new beginning now one thing i want you to keep in mind with this energy here you know make sure you take those challenges and obstacles whatever caused this tower moment in your life uh, whatever caused it take that turn that into knowledge and wisdom and put that in your spiritual tool belt so you can tap into that in the present and the future. So you're not repeating any cycles that you don't want repeated. And then here you go. You have the full here as your new circumstance. Just amazing. I'm so excited for you. you this is you starting this new journey. This new beginning successfully, taking a leap of faith, believing in yourself, trusting in spirit, trusting in your guides and your angels. I mean, whatever this new beginning is, it is so inspirational. I can just feel the energy. It's so powerful. Thank you, spirit. All right, Pisces. Now, remember, uh, with the first chakra, Archangel Michael, that's your root chakra, okay? That's about your passion. That's about 
your, your security, how you feel within yourself, your self-confidence. And if some of you feel that you're feeling lack in this area, just call on Archangel Michael and he will help clear the any blockages that you may feel you have. But I feel like you guys have this flowing freely. You know, you are going to be laying a solid foundation here. You are standing in your truth. You're speaking your truth, being very outspoken with the Knight of Swords as your overall energy. You're just cutting away and letting go of anything that's not serving your best purpose or interest at this time. Which is allowing you to start this new adventure with this creative vision, with this Ace of Wands. You know, something that you have a lot of passion and desire about. And with the Empress here... You know, what you planted, what you nurtured, there's going to be some growth coming back, some expansion. And whether it's abundance, prosperity, whatever area that this is in that you've been nurturing and what you've been putting out, it's coming back. Now, the tower here, you let it fall. It's already happened. And it's allowing for you to rebuild and lay a solid, unshakable foundation. This Six of Pentacles, make sure all your give and take relationships are balanced. Um, some of you, this could be legal, but it has to do with money. Uh, this may be what's helping you uh, start this new beginning here. And this could have been a gift. This could have been a blessing that came into your situation here recently as well. A new job, maybe, or a career. Like I said with karma, you know, you're going through a major energy here, and you know it. This transformation, it's, tran it's allowing you to transition into a new beginning. You know, this is what comes you know before starting this new beginning here you know the only major arcana that's missing here is the world but you don't need that you, you you're going through this energy right here with karma so it's allowing for you to start this successful new beginning here with the fool and you know it's important that you continue to believe in yourself all right and just continue to trust in spirit Oh my goodness, what a beautiful energy. Thank you so much, Spirit. What extra message do you have for Pisces? Thank you, Spirit. Amazing energy here. Thank you so much, Spirit. All right. Joy. Love it. Joy. Joy springs from a sense of connection to the divine and is a quality of which illuminates you. Your angel guidance is to cultivate this quality by seeking the divine in every situation. Look beyond the surface and seek the light in the heart of each person. Then you will become aware of the wonder of creation and joy will ignite your life. Delight in everything, for joy is a key to enlightenment. Enjoy life. And the affirmation to this card is, I find joy in everything. Beautiful. All right, Pisces, I love each and every one of you. Uh, please leave me a comment. Let me know how these energies are playing out in your situation. I send you all my love, wishes, and blessings, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye, Pisces.